Hi everyone, this ECC Library uh, tutorial will teach you how to make an interlibrary loan request. Okay, so the reason you would make a uh, interlibrary loan request is if you want an article or a book or something that we don't have in the ECC Library collection. So I'm going to show you an example of that. I did a search on Google Scholar and I came across this article that I'm interested in and um, it says it's in well, first of all, it's telling me to buy it online, and I don't absolutely don't want to do that. Um, so I want to see if our library has it. So it says it's in JSTOR. So I went, go to our uh, library collection, and I searched JSTOR, and it said we don't have it. Um, now, another thing I could do at this point is also ask a librarian for help and do a search. Um, they may be able to, to find it somewhere else. Um, uh, but if I... If I can't find it and I really want it, the next step would be to go to the library's homepage and go under the Services tab to Interlibrary Loan. And the, the, there's a link for the loan policies here and then the loan request form. So I can go ahead and click on that loan request form and um, fill out this form. Okay, so first of all, I have to say my borrower types. I'm going to say I'm a student and then my name. Give my name. Okay, and my phone number, which is optional, you can put that in if you want. Then it's going to ask for an email address. Now you can use uh, whatever email address you're most likely to check. It could be your student email address, or it could be a different email address, whatever you're most likely to get. You could, if you know your library barcode, uh, you can go ahead and put that in. And then it's going to ask me to request the type. And based on the type of source I need, like I'm looking for a journal article, uh, you may be looking for a book or a DVD, um, it will ask me additional questions. So I put in journal article, and now it's asking for me for the title of the journal. This can be confusing for some students. If you look back on our form, a lot of students think the journal article or the, the journal title is right here, but it's actually, that's the article title. What we need is the title of the journal the article is found in. Um, so the, in this case, it's Public Health Reports, 1896 to 1970. So I'm going to copy that, go back to my request form, and paste that in. That's the title of the journal. Then um, it's asking me for the volume and issue number. So I come right here, copy that, volume 53, number 19. Um, some, some articles you may not have that information. Just do your best that you can while filling out this form. If it doesn't have it, that's okay. Um, the more information you can provide, uh, the, the more likely, uh, the easier it is for us to find the source for you or find the right, correct article. Now date, so I'm pasting the date in, and then it asked me, whoops, asked me for the article title. So this is the part where I put this article title in, and again I'm just copying and pasting it. Okay, some um, sources will have an ISSN number. I looked on this one, I don't see one, so I'm not going to fill that one out. Uh, the next thing is pages, so right here it says the pages. And that helps make sure that we have the right, the correct article that you need. And then article authors. So I come here and here are the article authors. Okay. And then, um, and then it asked me what format. So some some people really want um, in in a print form and are willing to wait a little longer. Some want it right away in the electronic. Journal articles sometimes faster. Um, if you don't care either way, you can just check the, the last box there. And then um, once you've got it all filled out, you just hit the submit button. And then as it says at the top here, allow 10 days to two weeks for items to arrive. Okay, that's it.